right, people? About to weigh myself in real quick. 197. I'm going to show you guys, well, I'm going to tell you guys of, uh, I'm going to teach you guys how to avoid when your body goes into a catabolic state, how to avoid that state. You know, catabolism is um, when your muscles break themselves down into, in, onto the original proteins and uh, nutrients that they were. So I wrote down a lot of notes here on my computer. As I read the book, I go out onto the web and I search a lot of things that I don't understand. And before I skip on to the next page, I want to fully understand the page, you know, thus telling me that, okay, I read this page. I know what that page is. So protein foods, eating protein foods before sleeping, one delays a catabolic state or it even prevents a catabolic state because because from your bedtime meal, from your from your dinner to your breakfast, you're fasting. That is a catabolic state. And your body goes into a fasting stage when you uh, go to sleep. Six to eight and a half or five to nine hours is your fasting stage. Everyone goes fasting when, when they go to sleep, so... You are not eating anything from dinner until breakfast. Your body goes several hours without taking any food in. And in order to save energy for your vital organs, for your pertinent processes such as breathing, your lungs, your brain, it needs to burn calories, you know. Your blood needs to be at 98.7, 98.9 normal temperature. You know, your body needs to heat up water for you to stay warm, and that burns calories. And those calories got to come from somewhere, you know. If your body doesn't have those proteins, you know, those, those, those calories, those nutrients, it's going to break itself down. Um, it'll start breaking down its, its, its own muscle tissues. The process of breaking down muscle tissues, like I said, is called catabolism. And during that stage, proteins are broken down into their original amino acids and used as energy for the body's vital processes. Eating a high protein food just before going to bed may be a good idea because it can delay, it could prevent catabolism. This is especially important for bodybuilders, for athletes, you know, for people who who want to show their gains, you know, basically people who are in this sport. Also, it may be important for people who just want to have a healthy life. The elderly or anyone trying to maintain muscle mass. Now, there is a lot of foods that you can eat right before bedtime. You shouldn't eat foods that will give you energy right away. You know, as then you're gonna have trouble sleeping. Tuna is perfect. It's, it's 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 a perfect meal, but tuna with the oil may give you trouble going to sleep. So tuna in water. It, it's it takes a long time for tuna to digest or above average. So basically, the foods that take a while to digest in your system are the foods you should eat, as Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is one of the best foods just before bedtime in order to prevent catabolism. Why? In order to prevent mass, uh, muscle catabolism, it has a special type of slow digesting protein. The slow releasing form of protein means your body is absorbing the amino acids at all times during that process. At all times during the digestion of the cottage cheese, your body is absorbing amino acids. That means it doesn't have to go into your muscle reserve, into your hard gains that you've been beating yourself for a couple weeks, for a couple months, and it won't use that up. From the cottage cheese, several hours, rather than all at once, it's giving you energy, you know? It's giving your 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 organs that uh, that those nutrients that it needs to keep going. You know, your lungs keep going. You know, you keep breathing instead of you using your inner body uh, energy, which are your muscles. This means after a few hours when catabolism would normally kick in, you're protected, you're shielded. 
in some cases, you know, some people don't sleep long enough, you're totally protected from it. Or let's say you eat a lot, or maybe not eating in abundance is going to save you. But some people don't eat because they think they're going to wake up fat, they're going to gain fat. They're wrong. You know, your, your body needs to be alive 24-7. It needs to be consuming calories 24-7. Just like when you need to check, just when you need to check your your BMR, just when you need to check um how many calories you should be eating, you know it's your weight times uh times ten times one point five depending on your daily activity, two point zero from being to steel workers to gym every day to being active, one point two one point five being office workers who go to the gym half an hour, 60 minutes a day, three or four times a week, you know? So depending on your daily activity, it's either from 1.0 to 2.0. Those steel workers, man, you gotta give them props. Their, their body is burning, burning, burning calories, just like that. So, just letting you guys know, delay catabolism, prevent that, that catabolic state. I have my fridge right here, right in my room. Cottage cheese. I take two spoons of this right before I go to bed. Right there. See? I'm not trying to give away my hard gain muscle that I just earned for a dream for eight hours. You know? Forget about it. So, I'm going to have my muscles nice and rested, untouched, unpulverized, unsintegrated, however you want to call it. I'm going to have my muscles nice and rested for the next day. All of my games will stay with me while I dream, while I catch some Z's. And that's it, guys. Delay catabolism, the catabolic state. Prevent it. Eat at night before bed. Doesn't, I mean, it doesn't have to be five minutes right before. Just eat it 10 minutes, 30 minutes. Cottage cheese is uh, great. Um, tuna and water is great. String cheese is great. Turkey slices is awesome. Protein bars, there's no need to prepare them, so you know they're easy right there, but I would say protein bars would be the least out of the foods that I just uh, suggested. Um, turkey slices, they're, they're very good. They also delay catabolism. They have a lot of, uh, specific with the amino acids, arginine, you know, your, your body needs all of these things, so go to sleep great. And don't eat no you could have a whey protein but whey protein dissolves in 30 minutes that's how it is right whey whey protein dissolves in 30 minutes that, that's why people use it post-workout to get all of the nutrients that they need right there now you could use casein protein that's what it was designed for casein protein or casein it's um it's supposed to be digested six to seven hours minimum six hours uh, I think maximum seven hours. So you you take some water, uh, casein protein, think a scoop or two, depending on what your body weight is. You drink it, and you're protected against your own muscles from eating their own muscles. I haven't really posted anything in a while because um, I've been reading. I really like this book. I'm learning a lot of things. Right now I'm doing the nervous system the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. After that, I will be doing the skeletal system. And after that, I'll be doing the muscular system. What am I doing? I'm reading on the kinetic chain. It's it's the science in human movement. The kinetic chain, chain is the science in human movement. We need a nervous system, we need our muscular system, and we need our skeletal system in order to do human movement. You know what I mean? Anyways, guys, I will be try. I will try to uh, put more more videos. Whatever I learn, I'm gonna try to teach people how to go on calorie deficit diets, on surplus diets. Teach you guys how to um, try to be where you want to be here. Go weight. Hey, I'm sweating in here. No, I ain't pop no money. It's bad for you. That's just for your nervous system a lot. Anyways, uh. This is the main topic of the video. Try to delay or prevent that catabolic state when you go to bed.